sulfur in this video is actually not a natural stone. I've done a little bit more research about it. It was sold to me as natural, but what I found out is that it's actually a formation that forms around different types of piping in industrial factories or in caves where minerals are being sort of pumped out or things are being separated from one another. So this sulfur actually forms around the outside of different valves and piping as almost like a crust and it is an evaporite. So as there are small leaks and things like that in this piping, the sulfur is actually the residue or mineral deposit that's left on these pipes and that's actually how this particular sulfur formation is created. So I did just want to give you a little bit of an explanation before you see the sulfur in this video. The next stone that I wanted to talk to you about this evening is sulfur. So not many people use sulfur for healing, which I think is kind of sad because it is really cool. So I have a super neat sulfur to show you. And this, to me, it looks sort of like a chrysanthemum. If you can see that, almost like a little chrysanthemum flower, or I suppose a big chrysanthemum flower. So this is really a beautiful golden sulfur. Now a lot of times you'll see it in more of a crystalline form instead of this type of formation here. It's really cool. Um, but most of the time you'll see the little crystalline form of sulfur. And the sulfur, like I said, is sort of underutilized. A lot of people don't really think to use it. It's because it's not necessarily, you know, a shiny sparkly kind of crystal. It has a duller surface to it. Even the crystalline sulfur sometimes is just sort of a crust on top of the matrix. So a lot of people don't really, you know, think of it as a go-to. But it's really great for enhancing your energy, your life force energy, your chi or your prana. So you can actually hold it over your root chakra or over your solar plexus and breathe in this universal white light energy to sort of fill your body and radiate your, it through your body. I know that sometimes in the winter I tend to get a little bit sluggish and I'm sure maybe a few of you do too. So utilizing that sulfur is really great. Um, the other thing is it's good for motivation. So, you know, we just kind of want to be couch potatoes. And I know sometimes in the winter I want to just curl up with a book and some tea and I don't get much else done. But sulfur is really a great motivator. So you could, for instance, maybe place it in the center of a crystal grid. So you could have your sulfur in the center and surround it with some um, clear quartz points for something really simple or you could tie in that citrine or some sunstone like we talked about earlier for a nice winter or fall grid. The other thing is if you think about sulfur you think of like fire and brimstone so sulfur is really all about warmth so pulling warmth into the body during those winter months carrying a small piece in your pocket especially if you have a job that keeps you outside a lot in the winter months is definitely a good thing to do.